Hi everyone, Dr. Katie here. This video is being posted on Tuesday, February 23rd, 2021. Today I was supposed to be coming to you from Don's Machine Shop in West Pittston, but due to the weather yesterday, I'm coming to you from President's Hall here on campus. We are now in the sixth week of the spring semester. This week, Johnson College is reporting one new positive COVID-19 case within our campus community. Please continue to wear your face coverings and be sure to social distance at all times. Thank you. This Sunday, our campus hosts a no contact drive through turkey dinner giveaway for families in our community. I wanna thank everyone involved, board member Bill Bracey and his ShopRite Supermarkets, Toyota of Scranton, Pepsi, and the Johnson College community of students, faculty, and staff. This event showcases our mission to prepare students for hands-on, in-demand careers in essential industries and also to be essential contributing members of their communities. Way to go, everyone. I'm looking forward to an amazing Sunday of giving back to our community. In response to the global COVID-19 pandemic, the U.S. government has enacted the Higher Education Emergency Relief Fund II. Part of this fund will provide federally supported financial aid for students impacting by the pandemic. I'm excited to let you know that Johnson College has received this funding and will provide the funds to students directly. The grants will be in the amounts of $1,000 for full-time students and $500 for part-time students. If you're a current student interested in this grant, visit D2L for more details and instructions on how to apply. All applications must be submitted by Friday, March 12th. Our team is gearing up to welcome future students and their families to our two spring open house events. Both open houses are opportunities for future students to learn about the college, our programs, live labs, our industry immersion program, internships, their exposure to industry from day one, and most importantly, how our degrees become essential careers. Our first open house of the spring will be held virtually via Zoom on Tuesday, March 16th at 6 p.m. The second spring open house will be in person on campus on Saturday, March 27th. All Pennsylvania social distancing and sanitation guidelines will be followed and face coverings must be worn at all times while on campus. Interested students must register to attend either open house event at johnson.edu slash open house. I hope to see many new faces on campus and via Zoom. The Johnson College Open is back our annual golf tournament to benefit the Presidential Scholarship Fund will take place on Friday, May 21st at Pine Hills Country Club in Taylor, PA. Thank you to Garrity Supermarkets for once again being their Open's presenting sponsor, a position they've held since 2013. If you or your business would like to participate as sponsors or golfers, please contact Michelle Newberry at mnewberry at johnson.edu. Golf season can't get here fast enough. Now for my final note of the week. Even though I have a short ride from my house, the drive today reminded me of just how much I miss traveling. One of my best trips before the pandemic was to New Orleans, Louisiana. It had always been on my list of cities I wanted to visit, and now I can't wait to go back. I've been thinking about it a lot since we just passed Fat Tuesday in Mardi Gras. In New Orleans, you are surrounded by music as you walk the streets, take in the sights, and eat the rich food. And in true New Orleans fashion, they have not let the pandemic ruin the Mardi Gras celebration. Instead of the elaborate floats we typically see, residents went all out and decorated their houses. Go online and check it out. It will bring a smile to your face. That's it for this week's presidential update video from President's Hall. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, be well, and have a great week.